We're all used to doing full color change wraps with Arlon's Ultimate Premium Plus films, so it's easy to be excited about wanting to wrap with Arlon's automotive grade chrome. But before you jump right in, you need to understand how differently it reacts to heat and tension. Cars wrapped in chrome are bound to get lots of attention. People always get close to look at every detail, especially the finish, so it's important to learn how to handle chrome in a way that promises a perfect finish. Arlon's automotive chrome comes with a cap liner which keeps panels rigid and their finish protected. This makes it easier to snap panels up without causing creases and allows you to lay the panel down quickly without the fear of scratches. With the cap liner on, the vinyl is too rigid to stretch into even shallow body lines. It must be removed before this part of the application can go any further. Remove the cap liner slowly, taking care not to make creases in the chrome. Even with the cap liner off, chrome is more rigid than the standard UPP colors. Before working the chrome into a depression like this door handle area, you need to work the vinyl around the point first, sending the tension in multiple directions. Notice how we hold the vinyl on the extreme edge of the panel, only touching pieces that we will eventually cut off. First, we need to follow the bottom ridge, easing the tension in that direction. After applying a little heat, we follow the top side of the ridge. By securing both ridges separately, the chrome which will cover the center, which is the deepest part of the depression, tightens, leaving no stress lines and requires less heat in the application. Next we repeat that step on the other side of the depression. Then join the sides across the top of the depression area. Begin slowly rolling the chrome in evenly all around the sealed off area. Trim around the hardware to further relieve tension. Start rolling in the top side of the most visible side of the concave area. Roll the edges in a quarter of an inch at a time. It's possible that with a stretch of this size, the chrome may whiten a little. If that begins to happen, you want the area to be hidden by the door handle. Here the door handle area is completed and no whitening is visible. Wrapping the edge of a door with chrome is more difficult than with other UPP films because it is less flexible. Begin rolling the chrome around the edge of the door in small increments. Add heat and begin the final roll at the high point of the body line of the door dividing the tension evenly. When the chrome is rolled all the way around the edge of the door, hold it in place for a few seconds to allow the adhesive to begin to build strength as it cools down. Repeat these steps at each body line and then complete the roll around on the straight areas trimming along the weld bead on the back of the door. Finish the bottom corner of the door using the painted edge technique. Trim out your edges and the door is done. Now for one of the toughest parts, wrapping the bumper and trunk area with chrome. Indentations that are curved like this area create a lot of tension lines which cannot be squeegeed out like other UPP colors can. The secret to this application is to add heat first which causes the chrome to stretch tightly from edge to edge, creating very rigid points along the top and bottom of the stretch. Watch as we take the heat away. As the chrome cools, the tension lines dissipate almost completely, leaving only small manageable points that can easily be installed. Let the chrome cool completely before finishing the application. When the chrome has cooled, these small points of tension will not interfere with the smooth application. Finish laying the chrome into the indentation little by little. 
Notice that while installing Arlon's automotive grade chrome cold and under some tension, there are no adhesive lines left behind and the chrome has absolutely no curl back. Almost every chrome wrap has a body liner curve that goes beyond the chrome's performance expectations. In these cases, it is necessary to use inlays, which means there will be seams. Use body lines to mask these overlaps and your seams will be invisible. There is no way to speed up the process of wrapping with chrome. Every detail is a showcase of your knowledge and skill. Following the proper techniques for working with automotive grade chrome will always reflect well on you as an installer.